What is up, beautiful growers? Today, we have the honor of having Ritz with us to do a special men's grooming video. Ritz is an actor, a model, really good at having an Instagram meme. <laughs> yeah. Always good with Instagram memes, very funny. Um, and also, you know, in the fitness. Yeah. Yeah. You know, learning as we go. Since skincare is important, if you want to look good on camera, yeah. We're going to walk through the different um, skincare products from Organic Glow Skin Co. And just show how to use them, what order to use them in, and how to get a glowing, radiant face. We all like a little glow, though. Yes, we gotta look, you know, we gotta look good. The natural glow. The natural glow. First, we're gonna start with the facial cleanser. This one is great, it's very hydrating, it's also balancing. There's a whole bunch of essential oils, hydrating oils, um, like sea buckthorn oil, rosehip seed oil, um, all good stuff. So, I'm going to have you wet your face. Okay. Just because it's good to start off with wet skin when you're going to do cleansing. Thank you for being a trooper and washing your face with me today. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna squeeze two pumps for your hand. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got two pumps. Yes, two pumps. Rub it together. It's a foamy, but like soft and gentle kind of cleanser. Okay. Okay, I like his technique. He first makes the suds. You know, leather. The fingers, the leather, and okay. then for the face. I usually wash between like 30 and 60 seconds because that gives the oils on your face enough time to break down, um, get really get the cleanser in there. Um, also, it's good for makeup if you're wearing makeup. Um, just use it a little bit longer to break down those makeup particles and residue. And then you have a bright, clean, but not stripped, hydrated skin after. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I wash my face every day. Have I always been doing this? But I've never done it like that. So I was like, oh, okay. Don't, don't talk about my technique. Okay? Right? No, you're doing, you're, you're doing great so far. So good. Usually, when we wash our faces, we don't have somebody staring at us. I get it. Okay. You're killing it. I think that could be good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, if you wanna... so just wash it right off? Yep, yep, okay. just wash it right off. Come on, Perfect. Refreshed. See? It feels so good. The order of operations of cleansing that we are using is esthetician recommended. Um, I specifically follow um, the black female esthetician named Nai, or also known as LA Beautyologist on Instagram. Um, she has a whole breakdown of order and like why it's good to do different things in different orders and explains it all very well. So I recommend her also to check her out. But usually um, cleanse, tone, exfoliate, tone, then mask, tone, serum, then lotion and oil. So that's kind of the order that you usually go and you want to definitely exfoliate before you mask so you get rid of any buildup and debris on your skin so that the mask can work more effectively. Because if you put the mask on and you still have different impurities sitting on top of your skin, it's not going to work as effectively. Step two, we have our lemon scrub. So this smells amazing. Feels amazing. I use it on um, my face and body. Really. I love scrubbing my body. Uh, you can scrub your body way more often than you can scrub your face, of course. So you would only use this about, we recommend no more than two to three times a week, but with a physical uh, scrub, I tend to only use those once a week, just because my skin's a little more sensitive. Um, but the lemon is good for brightening. I usually just like take like a dollop. A dollop? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, a generic, yeah, that's good. Okay. And scrub your face with it. Scrub for about a minute too. Um, this has a lot of also hydrating oils. The lemon is good at brightening. Um, and of course, the sugar scrub is um, exfoliating. Good 
Do all scrubs use like sugar? No, there's a lot of different kinds. Um, some use, I mean, salt burns, so I'm not a huge fan of salt unless it's for the body. I'll use salt sometimes on my legs because um, salt is also like antiseptic, um, antibacterial. But sugar is more gentle, sugar is more hydrating. Um, it's a better option for the face, but there's a whole bunch of different types of physical scrubs. Um, I don't recommend the ones that have like, you know, back in the day, but they have the ones with the, um, like the apricot seed. Mm. That one's harsh because those little grains are very like sharp and sometimes it can end up damaging your skin more than just exfoliating. So sugar is a nice gentle one and this one has an emulsifying wax in it so it's not just like sugar straight onto your skin. It's kind of got like a little bit of a... Mm -hmm. Good. I think you're good. Rinse. It's also really good for your hands. Yeah. Um, if you want to have like those baby soft smooth hands. Mm. <laughs> I know you're like I'm a man. Or the the the, the weight's gonna bring the calluses back quick. Oh, <laughs> the smooth that they are. You live a different lifestyle. You know, that's <laughs> Well, for women. Yeah. And maybe other men that do like soft hands. <laughs> it's good for. To each their own, you know. To each their own, exactly. It's really nice for. And, the, and your body. Yeah. Um, like, if you have any scarring or stuff, like on arms or back, um, it's good at lightening scars. Um, so it's really good for multiple purposes. All right. Halfway through. Now we're gonna mask. Do you have, do you mask it all on your own? Um, you know that is a mask that I've tried a couple of times. Um, it's like the Aztec clay thing. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the only thing that I've ever tried. This is the similar similar idea, but it's already so that product is just the powder and you make your you yeah. add and you make your own. This um, the base is kaolin clay, so it still has the same properties of like pulling out the impurities. This has the benefit of having moringa um, powder, like extract, and also oil in it. Okay. Um, so and also it has like cucumber peel, green tea extract. So there's a lot of antioxidants, some moisturization, and the moringa has a whole bunch of like vitamins, minerals. It's going to be very like nourishing for your skin. Well, I like that. Yeah. It sounds so, like a fruit salad. The fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit salad of face masks. You know. So this is what it looks like. It's a thick, um, a thick clay mask, and we're gonna leave it on for ten minutes. So it's going to. The, some of this is like the little oil drops of the moringa. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> we have a mirror so that Ritz can actually do this here. We should have brought it earlier. It's, it's cool, you but know, we learn as we go. We learn as we go, better I'm late than never. <laughs> so now we can have less of a struggle. Um, and you can put the mask on and actually see yourself. So. All right, so. Thank you, guys. So much. How much do I need? You want like a light layer on the skin. Um, so just kind of eyeball it as you go. Just make sure you're covering all the surface area. got green tea in there which is also good for antibacterial um, if you ever get any like acne bumps or pimples um, it's good to put it on there it will decrease the inflammation I'm trying to put my finger on it it might be the moringa okay. um, that's kind of it's like a herbally kind of smell yeah. Yeah, that's the Marina. It kind of makes me like the, the green tea, my, 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 I know you and Latte, y'all love that. <laughs> Alante is our, our mutual friend. That's how we met, right? Yes. Um, we're addicted to matcha. Mm -hmm. But this is not quite a matcha smell. I know not matcha yet. smells. This is more of like a Moringa smell. You are the kind of soul. Yes, matcha <laughs> is my jam. Um, which is also good for the skin. And the green tea in there, um, it's good for healing. Lots of benefits to green tea. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Perfect. So we will keep this on for 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. <laughs> it's been one minute so far, maybe. Um, but you want to give it time, the, the clay in there, time to like suck out anything that's in there. Give it a good amount of time to 
detox by the pores. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even with masks like this, I like spot the treat. Yeah. So like my like nose or like chin area or sometimes like I get like different places with acne on my face. Um, I won't put it on my whole face. Like if it's just like certain areas or like a, a breakout, you can also spot treat in that way. So plans for the weekend. What you do? I just moved. So. Oh yeah. Wow. Congrats. Uh, nice. Thank you. I am still taking things out of boxes, hanging things up, throwing things away. And the sad part is, it's a two bedroom, and I feel like I don't have enough space, but I moved out of a one bedroom, and I'm like, where did these things come from? Right, you like... Alright, I think it's been about 10 minutes. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let, it, let us wash it off. Alright. about to have new skin, y'all. Yes. Usually after you do a, a clay mask like this, you always want to use a moisturizer afterwards. Some masks, if they're not clay masks, if it's like a moisturizing mask, um, maybe you just do a serum afterwards. But since this mask is purposefully pulling out and extracting, then you're always going to want to follow up with hydration because you don't want to leave your skin dry and tight afterwards. You did all that work for no reason. Right. Okay. Lovely looking. Looking clear, looking shiny and bright. <laughs> Love it. All right, so the last step in our skincare for today is the hydrating facial cream. Now this is, it's lightweight, but it has different oils in it. Um, lots of really like nourishing oils, um, such as carrot seed, rose hip seed. Um, also have like some mango butter for like more deeper hydration and then like some extracts like lavender to make it smell nice. Mm. Green tea also, which is good for antibacterial. Lots of good things. And lots of good things. Yes. It looks nice. Yeah. Everything's a remarkable dessert. Oh. <laughs> That's a positive. I like skincare that feels like dessert. Yeah. But yeah, you can use that morning and night. Um, and then after this, of course, a sunscreen. Yeah. And also, I should mention, since Ritz has a lovely beard. Um, we also have beard oil, and you can follow up with that afterwards. Like he mentioned that that's usually in his skincare routine. Yeah. He'll do hydration and then beard oil. How are you looking? Good. So, how do you feel? My skin feels refreshed. It feels dewy. It feels moisturized. It's a. Um, it's light. It feels good. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. Yeah, you're <laughs> radiant, you're glowing. Look at that. You look blessed. You look blessed, you look healthy, you look hydrated. Thank you. Yes, beautiful. Well, thank you again for doing our skincare routine with us. We appreciate it. Ritz, definitely check him out. An amazing actor. You've probably seen him out there in commercials and you know some shows out there, but keep your eye out for the future. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to like this video. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you can be notified when we come out with new content. As always, happy growing and we're rooting for you.